Hi, so your teacher has asked me to talk about how to find literary criticisms. And literary criticisms are a study, an evaluation, an interpretation of literature. So somebody who is well versed in literature, maybe they teach about literature or they've, they have gone to college for literature, then write essays about different works by different authors that they're experts at. So your job is to find a literary criticism written by an expert for your novel to help you understand your novel. So my job today is to show you how to find a literary criticism. So if I'm going to look for a literary criticism, my first place I'm going to go is the Gretna High School website, ghs.gpsne.org. Go to Media Center and go to Databases. And now I'm here. Gale Databases is where you want to go for literary criticisms. EBSCO is great, but there are not going to be literary criticisms. So for Gale, for this assignment, you're going to want to use Gale. The database that you need is right here in the middle. It says biography, criticism, and overviews on writers and specific works in all disciplines. There is a subcollection here, but those are just ebooks, and we want all of the information and a lot of the great pieces of literary criticism are going to be in journals. So we're going to click right here on Gale Literature Resource Center. Now, it might ask you for a password or a barcode. I'm logged in so much all the time that it doesn't ask me. If it asks you for a password or a barcode, the password slash barcode is GHSL. Gretna High School Library. So lowercase GHSL. And then this is what it looks like. You've used Gale databases before. You know how they work. I'm going to just talk about the literature aspect. So here you can see the featured authors, just like all the others. And then up at the top is your search. I want to show you something that happens when you do this. Let's say that my novel is Lord of the Flies. So I start typing in Lord of the Flies, and the first thing that comes up is Lord of the Flies novel. And then Ralph, Picky Jack, Simon, William Golding, those are all things we know are related to Lord of the Flies. I wanted to show you something. If I click on novel, Lord of the Flies novel, that search term that they've given me, I come up with 80 literature criticisms. That's a lot. Um, there's biographies, there's topics, there's reviews, there's primary source, there's a lot of information. If I take off that word novel, now I have 390 criticisms, 157. So you can see that the word novel narrows the search, and just the name of the book keeps the search large. <coughs> you can do both. You can do either one. I just wanted to show you what happens. And maybe 390 literature criticisms is overwhelming. So you want to keep that novel word in there. It is completely up to you. Maybe you want to just focus on one of the um, characters. So you would just pick a character. This It's hard for me to do videos because I have to be so broad. You have to know what exactly piece of literature or, re or research you want to do. Okay, so I'm going to just look at this. As what I have here, what you're doing is you're reading the article title to see if there is an article that works for you. And you can see these say critical essay, and that's what we're looking for. And you can see the different titles. A lot of them are just an overview article. You can see that some of them are written recently. Some of them are written kind of a long time ago. Um, it even tells a little bit about the article and who wrote the article here in this little summary. Um, so maybe you're focused on grief with the Lord of the Flies, so you'd want to look at that one. Government of Boys. This one is comparing Lord of the Flies to another book. So you're just kind of looking through the fable, myth, and fiction to see which one you're interested in. The next thing that can help you determine if it's a good source or good article is where it's from. So this one originally came from the Journal of General Education. This one came from Politics and History and William Golding. So you can look at the source to get an idea of the theme of the article. And that'll help you narrow it down. So here's the English Journal. This one is from Censored Books, Critical Viewpoints. Um, 
This is the Literator, Journal of Literary Criticism. So you're just looking through all of these different sources, trying to find out which one might be good for you. You're going to probably have to read more than one, and that's what we do with research um, to get an idea of what kind of direction you're going to. Okay, I'm going to look at this Grief, 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 Lord of the Flies article. So I click on it. Here I see who it's by, Lawrence S. Friedman, and I can click on his name, and then I can see all the different articles that Lawrence has written and see the different types of sources he's written in. So that helps me understand. I can go back. I can look at, okay, this one was in the Children's Literature Review. It was reprinted in there in volume 94, so I can have an idea. This has been in a couple different um, sources, so that'll be helpful. And then here it says, Friedman explores the theme of grief, of grief in his 1993 essay. And then this is the essay that I would be looking at and trying to find things to pull out for my assignment. Okay, So you have to kind of know about your assignment ahead of time and what you're looking for. Lots of quotes in here. This is all part of, of Lord of the Flies on grief. And I can go through and read this article and see if it's something that I'm interested in. Here's some notes that might lead me to other ideas and the citation. If that's not what I'm interested in, I go back and I can look at, at other ones. This one's a critical introduction to the Lord of Flies, suggesting that the book functions as a parable. Maybe I want to talk about that. Um, here it's the Robinson Crusoe of our time. Maybe that's something, something about the, you know, the adventure and the survival of the shipwreck. So you can kind of look through all of these and see before you even click on it, which one you're interested in. Maybe my teacher talked about allegories and I want to talk about that. So you look through them all. Okay, I'm going to go back up here and look at this one about uh, um, survival and a shipwreck. So I click on this one. Again, here's the author. Here's where it comes from. And then here, here it says it was, this is about the book, Lord of the Flies. And then I can read this article. This one isn't as long as the other one. Maybe I understand this one a little bit more. Here it's comparing it to other books. Um, so you're just going through and making these decisions for yourself and your paper. Once you find one, the thing I suggest you do first is to send it to your Google Drive because you want to be able to find this the next day or maybe you want to work on it while you're driving to grandma's house or driving to a game or something. So I'm going to send it to my Google Drive. It says it has it's been sent and it will appear shortly. So then I go to my drive And it'll appear here it is and so I can click on this and my article is here now this is mine it's in my drive I can do whatever I want to with it I can highlight it and keep parts of it that I want um, that I think are important to my assignment I can cut parts out if I want this is this is my article and now you may have noticed that you can highlight and um, take notes on Gale, but this does not keep it every day. Your notes don't keep day to day. You'd have to still download it to Google Drive. So don't highlight a note take on here without sending it to Google Drive. Okay. So now I have my article. Now I need my citation. So I can either click on the Cite button or scroll down. I can make sure this says MLA. I can highlight and copy and paste this into a document if I need to, or I can send it to Noodle Tools. I click here to Noodle Tools. A new window opens, and it says, here, is, here it is. Is this correct? I can say this looks good, and then I can import it to whatever project I need. And I'll just keep it on my modern authors. Then I hit Import. It says Success. I go to Noodle Tools. I log in using Google. I go to Modern Authors. I go to Sources. And 
Minds by Neil's one right here, Lord of the Flies. I can click on View Live Web Page and get right to it again. Okay, so those are all ways I can find a literary criticism. My next step would be to continue to take notes, either in Noodle Tools, either with my article in my drive, or on the document that my teacher has given me. Literary criticisms are a little bit harder to read. They take time, so make sure that you are paying attention to that. Good luck. Please email me at kbulgrin at gpsne.org if you have any questions.